Hello and welcome to the Games That Matter Week 2 Recap video. I got a lot to go through this week so I'm going to jump right into it and uh, try and get this because uh, there are a few games I want to spend a bit of time on but uh, there's a lot of games as well so we're going to jump right into it starting with Friday Marshall at number 24 Boise State. Now I picked Boise State to win this one. I thought it would be a uh, rather big win for them this time around but um Surprisingly enough, Marshall actually showed up and played some really good defense. I believe the final score was 14 to 7. Boise State wins the game um, like I thought they would, just not in the fashion I thought they would. Next was Cincinnati at number five, Ohio State. Now this is the Saturday games. Um, I picked Ohio State to win this one, and they did big. I, they didn't really have struggle at all with this Cincinnati team, so. Things are looking out for this Ohio State team. They might actually be able to get back to the playoffs this year. Next was Army at number 7, Michigan. Now, this was the shock of the week for me. Um, Army's a good team, and I know they're a good team. They're not competing with number 7, Michigan, good in my mind. But that's exactly what they did. Um, there is no team in college football, in my opinion, except for maybe Alabama, who executes their plan as well as Army. Army goes out there and does what they do best, and that is control the ball. And that's exactly what they did to Michigan. And it's even more impressive with the fact that they went into the big house to did this to Michigan, took them to overtime. Ultimately, Michigan did win the game, but... Army made them scared for all of that game. Uh, next on the list, Rutgers at number 20, Iowa. I had Iowa win in this one, and they did pretty handily. Uh, next on the list was number 21, Syracuse at Maryland. Now, I picked Syracuse to uh, win this game. I thought Syracuse was going to have a return to the form, kind of like they did the year before, maybe a 10-11 win team. They could still do that, but Maryland wiped the floor with Syracuse, just ran up and down the field on them, put up quite a lot of points. I just I don't see a bounce back for Syracuse right now. But Maryland shocked me. I did not expect that at all. Next, Northern Illinois at number 13, Utah. I picked Utah to win this one, and uh, they did. They, they took care of business. Number 12, Texas A&M at number 1, Clemson. I picked Clemson to win this one. I kind of thought it would be close. I said keep them on upset alert. That being said, um, Texas A&M really struggled offensively most of the game, but they held Clemson to only 24 points. Um... They were down 24-3, to but scored a touchdown in the final minutes of the game, the final 10 minutes of the game, I believe, which made it 24-10, to which was the final for Clemson to win. The first time Clemson has not beaten an opponent in uh, by 20 or more points since the last time they played Texas A&M, where they won by two. So... A&M defensively understands how to stop Clemson. Now, the interesting thing is if people start taking a page out of A&M's book, if they can. Um, we'll see what happens. Next is Central Michigan at number 17, Wisconsin. I had Wisconsin win in this game. Not even a contest. Interesting fact right now, Wisconsin has played um, two Division I football teams and has not let up a single score. Uh, they, they shut out UCF and now they shut out Central Michigan. So we'll see who's the first one to score on Wisconsin. Might be this weekend. Next was number 25, Nebraska at Colorado. I picked Nebraska to win this game. I thought they were they were on a roll. Struggled a little bit with South Alabama, but, but not enough for me to doubt they could beat Colorado. I mean, Colorado struggled with Colorado State a little bit. Uh, that being said, Colorado took advantage of having the game at home and came out the victor. Uh, it was a close game, though. I will say that. A very close game. Next was New Mexico State at number two, Alabama. Alabama won this game. I picked Alabama. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even know what the score was. I did a lot to a little. Uh, <laughs> I just I know New Mexico State's not in any shape to be competing with 
a team like Alabama. Murray State at number three, Georgia. Uh, Georgia. Northern Colorado at number 22, Washington State. Washington State. South Dakota at number four, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. I, I just... I know the sarcasm and the, the, the disapproval were dripping in that, but honestly... You've got three top 25 teams in a row on this list playing non-Division I football teams, and it's just, stop it. Especially Washington State, who needs to have a good season, needs to win out to make it into the playoffs. And if they lose one game, it looks to their strength of schedule, and having that game on there is not going to help you in the Pac-12. It, it really isn't. I don't know. It just, I can go on a tangent on that for a while. It's just, I feel like those games, those games kind of, it feels like a Division One team trying to take a uh, bye week without taking a bye week, if you know what I mean. Uh, number 18, UCF at FAU. I had uh, UCF winning this one, and they did handily, not even close. Uh, FAU suffered their second straight loss of the season. Um, that being said, they could turn it around. They had their two toughest games at the start of the season, so you got to give them credit there. Number six, LSU at number nine, Texas. I had LSU win in this one on the road. They did. It was really close, back and forth, high-scoring affair, which is not common for these two teams. So... 45 to 38 was the final. LSU walks away with the victory. Uh, Tulane at number 10. Auburn. I had Auburn win in this one. They struggled a little early, but but they they pulled it out. UT Martin at number 11. Florida. Florida hands down. They won the game. Buffalo at number 15. Penn State. Penn State reaches 100 points in the season in two games, much like Maryland has, and I believe. Uh, Wisconsin has over two games, three teams at over 100 points already scored on the season. And it doesn't look like it's going to slow down for Penn State anytime soon. I think they play uh, Pitt next week. Uh, Nevada at number 16, Oregon. I had Oregon winning this one, and they ran away with it. I thought Nevada would keep it a little closer, but 77 to, I think, 14. It was, it was painful, uh, especially for Nevada after that wonderful win over Purdue in week one. Um, it just kind of leaves a bitter taste, but I think they'll bounce back next week. Uh, next was Western Michigan at number 19, Michigan State. I had Michigan State winning this one. I thought it might, might be a little close, but Michigan State just rolled on through Western Michigan, and they're looking on to their next opponent. I don't remember who it is, but I, I think it's going to be another another 3-0 and start for, the, for Sparty this year. Next on the list was Cal at number 14, Washington. I picked Washington to win this game, um, and they came really close. Uh, Cal surprised me, got the 20-19 to 19 victory here. Really played up to the situation, um, but that, that, was a, that was an interesting thing that happened there. And then, honestly, the last but not least, the hardest game, in my opinion, to pick this weekend, given the circumstances leading into it, number 23, Stanford at USC. Now, I picked Stanford to win this game. I felt more confident in Stanford's defense than I do in, in USC's. Um, but with both starting quarterbacks out and a lot of questions for both of these teams, I felt Stanford had a slight edge. I was wrong. I was very wrong. Um, <clears throat> USC pulled out, I think, a 45-20 to 20 victory over Stanford. It was not pretty for Stanford at all, which brings USC into the top 25 rankings this year, I believe, uh, this season now, and drops Stanford out of it. Um, so that was it for the Week 2 uh, games. I got 18 of the 22 this week correct, which puts me at an 81 point. 8% correct rate on this week, um, which sets me up for my total for the season in the games that matter at 43 out of 47 correct, which is a 91.5% correct rate on the whole games that matter for the whole season. Um, it, thank you guys for tuning in. If you like what I'm doing, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Um, 
I'm going to sh keep trying to, to churn out these videos for you guys. I really enjoy making them. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video.